Well, the river's coming up. Still got a ways to go from coming out of the banks. But we are wet. And it's still raining. There's more rain to come. Let's see what a mess this platform is. I'll do this uh, little overflow reservoir here on the back end of the radiator. It was, it was cracked underneath. There was a pipe feeds in and overflow run off and everything. And so we got that. So let the power wash this off up here. When it gets a chance or quits raining. This little tank here was uh, $432 from my uh, case. Uh, it's amazing considering it probably cost about uh, $10 to blow mold that. Uh, just wrapping up this little project, put this back together here real quick. All these cars coming in the distance here. There was a Trump rally in Council Bluffs, Iowa tonight. So, or the night at least when I filmed this. So they're all getting out of that auditorium. Crazy. The last clips you just saw there was from yesterday when I started shooting this video. And I didn't get it to video finish yesterday as Kelly wanted to go out to a date night and I figured it was raining all day and then nobody's missed anything on video because it's been pretty boring. We've gotten a lot of rain. So we went out and ate uh, supper. She wanted to go to Red Lobster. Thank God they got steaks. But uh, she enjoys her lobster there. And on the way back, they had had a Trump rally in a Council Bluffs, Iowa. So we drove through, and they, the traffic was getting out of that rally. It was, uh, the traffic was backed up for two miles. It was, and when I got home, I ended up watching the uh, debate, actually, on the, the Internet. And this was kind of entertaining, but I think it was nothing more than a, than a giant um, midterm election hype up. So, you know, they had all the Republican governors and senators and everything, so. It was a joke, but they did promise our uh, E15 year-round, so maybe they'll contribute to a little bit of markets, but I, I think uh, the tariffs have, have hurt. Uh, well, I know they've hurt, for that fact. So, anyway, here we are today. Uh, I'm working on uh, this thing, and this is our uh, Case IH 950 uh, toolbar. It's a 16 knife, uh, 30 inch spaced anhydrous toolbar. And we have been previously running this with the NAG leader system. And it does have uh, four section shutoffs uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, there's your flow controls, stuff like that. Now, there was the uh, CAN bus there for the uh, operating sensor or system for the AG leader. But now we're going to uh, John Deere. And if you can see this uh, pipe connects there, comes up through. And when Dad and the Jim, they had set this up, they, you know, they actually sent us those mounting brackets for those uh, super coolers. But up here, they just kind of made this piece of pipe out there. I always thought it looked like crap. So what we're going to do is, and also if you look at it and you flex it here, it, kind of has some vibration to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically make a bracket like that. I'm going to get in there, nice shiny U-bolt like here. We're going to make a, a new bracket that goes uh, that frame to this frame. And then we'll take off this bracket here with that CAN bus because that's no longer going to be used. We're going to put a uh, John Deere rate controller on it, which is right there on the floor. And there's a big pile of wiring that converts that over. There's our rate controller, so we're going to put that on, and we're going to put a mounting bracket from there to there, and we'll re, you know, reattach this to our new longer piece of uh, box tube. And then we'll have another U-bolt, uh, and the rate controller will stand up like right in here, and then we'll be able to coil the wires up on it, plug them in, and the wiring loom will go down, up and over, right to the tractor. So. It'll look nice and neat and do exactly what it needs to do. So that's the rest of today's project. So the video is going to be short, but it's limited to what we can do. We're just trying to prep equipment and do what we can do while the weather is bad. Um, Case was out here today working on the combine. There's actually three little tiny filters in that uh, system. They ended up finding one little filter that was, I, I only knew there was over two. Actually, the book, I don't even think even shows the third anyway. 
the third was kind of crushed so we're gonna have to put a new filter in there but i don't think that was really the problem i think it was nothing more than a momentary glitch and it contributed to the computer throwing a, a code um they reset it and ran it through the system and ran it through its paces so you know knock on wood we'll hope it's okay and uh, anybody that's wondering this uh, toolbar is this is a uh, scott brand uh, scott manufacturing uh uh, hitch. It's a hydraulic uh, hitch. To pull the tanks up. And we had that on a double shooter if you go back through my archive of videos. And we uh, copied this piece of plate here. It took the factory hitch off. And we copied it, put it on there, and we used countersunk bolts to mount that. So um, we can just unbolt it, pop the hoses off, get right back to factory. But we enjoyed it. It works well. Just got to make sure your hand's in the right place when you're, when you're operating it. So it's a, it's a nice toolbar might be a handful of little things that uh, need to be done to it pretty much ready to go uh, it, does, it does have the uh, HCS shanks and uh, we did put just regular new knives on it last year but we just put regular knives took the mole knives off it's got the uh, spring loaded uh, 18 inch double disc sealers it's got the uh, 24 inch front colders and this unit here is stiff enough if it ever trips, it usually breaks these bolts because it's only mounted to the side of the shank. Well, they do sell a kit now that actually has a deal that covers this, so it makes this uh, knife like pinch between two layers of material, kind of like a system like this. And it's it's much stronger, so uh, I need to buy those little those little plates and stick on it, so they won't break any bolts. It'd be you know the idea that is it should trip out of the ground, trip back in like a subsoil or something that nature but uh, that's about all ready to go um, I imagine everybody else is, watches videos or has farming channels is also wet right now so let's pray for uh, drier weather and uh, I'll, I'll keep making videos here so stay tuned thanks for watching uh, please comment rate and subscribe and uh, last uh, before I do end this I wanted to thank everybody that took time to wish my father well. He is uh, recovering. He's in a lot of pain, but he is recovering. So uh, thank you all very, very much for all the uh, well wishes. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it, and so does he.